Can a Christian have a demon? The short answer is yes. Christians can be harassed by demons. Whenever we discuss this issue, we always find it helpful to clarify the terminology. Instead of using the term demon-possessed, we prefer a more accurate phrase like demon harassment, or simply the word demonized. When people hear the term demon-possessed, what will typically come to mind are the most extreme cases of demonic harassment in the Bible, or, more likely, pictures or scenes from certain horror movies. In the New Testament, biblical authors used the Greek word daimonizomai, which simply means to be under the power of a demon. It's from this word that we get the word demonized. The Bible presents a diverse range of demonization, which counters the assumption that it's always dramatic. The frequent casting out of demons by Jesus and his disciples indicates that demonization is actually common, not rare, and it is often subtle, not obvious. For Christians, demonization does not mean ownership by Satan, but rather that a believer has given the enemy a foothold in certain areas of their life as described in Ephesians 4, 26 and 27. Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your wrath, nor give place to the devil. The term give place refers to opening doors in our life that invite the enemy to influence or harass us. One such door is unforgiveness. In Matthew 18, 34 and 35, Jesus warns his followers that if they do not forgive others, their heavenly Father will in turn deliver them to the tormentors. This is a vivid way to talk about demonic harassment, and it shows how believers can give demons legal access to areas of their lives. The Apostle Paul also speaks to this spiritual reality in 2 Corinthians 2, 10 and 11. He wrote, For whom you forgive anything, I also forgive, lest Satan should take advantage of us. For we are not ignorant of his devices. In the Rafa rooms, we commonly meet Christians who struggle with areas of their lives where the enemy has gained influence, such as addiction, depression, or broken relationships. But most of the time, they fail to connect their pain to the real work of Satan and demons. The good news is that Jesus has given believers authority over the enemy. Luke 10, 19 declares, Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Through deliverance ministry, the enemy can be cast out and the power of the Holy Spirit can fill the areas once occupied by demons, bringing healing and freedom. To help us facilitate deliverance ministry, the Holy Spirit has given the church two spiritual gifts, the discerning of spirits and the working of power, often translated as miracles. See 1 Corinthians 12.10 and Mark 9.38-39. These gifts help us to build up the body of Christ and demonstrate God's power over Satan and all tormenting spirits. If you are currently experiencing any demonic influence, attack, or harassment, just remember that you are not alone and you are not without hope. Jesus still saves, heals, and delivers. And you can find lasting freedom through his name.